Okay, today we're going to check out um, Wyatt Earp and his history in this area, which is very interesting. I created a video, and I really hope you enjoy it. So let's get ready to hit the road, and I'll see you in a bit. We all know Wyatt Earp, the rough and tough late 19th century lawman, miner, gambler, buffalo hunter, businessman, and boxing referee. He spent the better part of his life relocating throughout the western states and territories, moving from boomtown to boomtown, often looking for financial opportunities. Wyatt Earp began a relationship with Josephine Marcus in 1882, and they remained a couple until his death, some 47 years later. After White and Josephine's very busy years, they purchased a cottage near the train tracks in the desert town of Vidal, California, just a few miles west of the Colorado River. The cottage remained their home during their retirement years, between about 1925 to 1928. It was known to be the only permanent home the couple ever lived in. They would spend fall, winter, and spring in Vidal choosing to stay temporarily in Los Angeles to avoid the extremely hot summers. Wyatt, who was in his 70s by this time, would mine for copper in the nearby Whipple Mountains. Wyatt spent the last months of his life in Los Angeles. He died on January 13, 1929. Wyatt was cremated and buried in Colma, California. Josephine, who died in 1944, was buried alongside Wyatt. That's the old train bridge uh, at the river crossing in Park, Arizona, just on the other side. They say this bridge was actually built well before the dam, possibly at the turn of the century. Welcome to California. Okay, we're at the town of Earp, California, just across the river. Look at that, they have the, the man himself painted on the side of this building. It apparently used to be the Oasis Mini Mart. Ah. Okay, we're heading, uh, west on Highway 62 towards uh, Vidal, California. Then try to see if we can find the uh, wider cottage. towards Vidal Junction, just about there. We're heading towards the California Inspection Station checkpoint. Now we just passed Vidal Junction, now we're heading south to the town of Vidal. It's about six miles from here. There it is, there's the uh, the White Earp Cottage. I'm not sure what that is, if that was built afterwards or from the same era.
uh, brought my dog. Luna. Luna, what do you think about White Herb? I don't think she cares much. It's got that garage back there. I'm not sure if that was there during the time period. I think that was built afterwards, but I could be wrong. And there's nobody here. White Herb House, and there's like a little shack next to it. Couldn't tell if it's from the same time area or not, but it looks pretty old. There's another old stone building. there's like a foundation here and there's a couple more foundations next to the Hecock building maybe this is once a uh, bustling little community this is uh, across the street from the old white herb house I don't know if it's a it was a service station at one time or what but it's uh, definitely old. Look at that chicken. Yeah, the Parker Dam up there, just around that bend. Can't really see it from here, but it's there. I promise. 